Are you guys ready to build another 6.0? Because I am. This one, unlike the last one you guys saw me build, this one has all kinds of goodies. Last 6.0 I built, stock crank, stock rod, stock piston, stock cam. This one, uh, let's see, we have d lip stock pistons. I'll explain why I went that route. I have total seal piston rings. I have Waggler competition rods. I have an ATI balancer, um, a uh, Suncoast flex plate. Uh, I haven't figured out what cam I want yet. And by, whenever I get this video out, hopefully you guys can give some input. There's all kinds of information out there, but which one do you go with? Um, what else? I still need to figure out heads. Uh, still need to figure out injectors and turbo. I think I'm going to run a lot of stock top end. When I mean top end, stock heads, but they're obviously going to be uh, O-ringed. And then I may even look into porting them. And then possibly run stock injectors and a stock turbo. That way you guys can see what a ported set of cylinder heads with stock uh, injectors and stock turbo run. And then, because I know these engines so well and changing out parts isn't a big deal, especially injectors and turbo, then I will then upgrade and keep moving and moving. That way we definitely see power gains and document everything. That way you guys have something to go with and you guys can make good decisions on the parts you actually want to put in your truck. Now, I am going to run, continue to run uh, EGR system throughout this. That way I can be emissions compliant. I don't want to do this and I get partially through this and I'm throwing stuff on it and I get a visit from somebody. Uh, also, I'll still have a kettle converter on the exhaust. Again, that way I'm emissions compliant. And truthfully, I just want to see what kind of power to make like that. I think it would be pretty cool to be able to do all that and uh, still to keep the stock or the truck pretty quiet and I just, I, I think it would be pretty cool. Maybe, you know, I'll make changes along the way, but we'll see. Anyway, uh, that's just an update for you guys and uh, as soon as I figure out what cam I want to run, then we're going to start building all this uh, because obviously I need to put the cam in first and then put the crank in um, just to make everything go easier. I think, well, yeah, no, I can only do that way, just the way the crank's set up. Um, anyway, give your input. Let me know what kind of cam to run. I don't, I've seen Kill Devil Diesel. I've seen Colt. Um, I think Comp makes one. Um, I don't know. I don't want to go race because I still want to use this truck to tow with and drive. Uh, but I don't want to go with just a stage one because I know a stage one sometimes can be basically just basically just like stock. So anyway, give your input. Let me know what you think. Um, and then we're going to go, we're going to spend and go into detail on building this engine. So hope you guys are excited. Let's get going. Okay, I'm not going to go into much detail on the block just because the block, it's a stock block. Uh, it's been power honed, so they bolt a plate to the uh, deck of the block, they, they torque it down, and then they hone it as if the cylinder head is on it. That way, uh, if the block distorts at all when that uh, head is bolted on it, they hone it correctly for those pistons. Uh, that way, whenever everything goes together, you don't get any premature wear or anything like that. Sealing is all great. Um, let's go with total seal piston rings. That's super cool. Um, at first, I wasn't going to do anything like this, but then once I learned what it is, it's not just a regular ring. If you can see, this is the second ring. So you have a top ring, and then you have the oil ring below it. This is the top ring, and if you can see, they machine this ring, my second ring, to accept another ring. Let's see if I can make it work here. You gotta squeeze it together.
basically this this ring will fit in the machine surface of this other ring that way I basically have a I have no gaps but this both rings can move correctly they're not solid that way with expansion and contraction they can move correctly but then theoretically I'm keeping as much of the combustion in the cylinder as possible that way I don't lose any power and we'll have minimal blow by so that'll be pretty cool okay again I went with stock pistons but then I had them de-lipped so if you look there I don't have the the lip anymore that most of them have I went with and I'm reusing the pistons that came out of this engine because I kept doing research on everything and forged pistons I was explained by I think it was Mall Molly however you want to pronounce it I forgot how it is exactly they explained that if you're going to daily drive it at all you don't want to run forged pistons because it doesn't have the steel in the I don't know if you can see it on this one you can see a little bit there it doesn't have the steel uh, in the piston there and so your top ring is just going to eat at the piston constantly as it's driving and eventually you're going to have to replace pistons. The forged pistons I was explaining are for racing applications where the engine will basically get torn down after every season. So that's why I stuck with stock pistons. As you guys followed me on social media and stuff, I wanted to go with steel pistons but I couldn't get anybody to respond or any information on it and I really didn't want to take a gamble right now. I needed to get an engine built. Okay, as you can see, this is a Suncoast flex plate that I got. Billet flex plate. Let's see. See some numbers there. I don't, that may be a part number there, too. But you can see it's 6.0. So that's been balanced with the crank and everything. So that's ready to go on. I'm super excited about that. Because those are known to fail at high horsepower on the 6.0s. Then we've got the ATI balancer. Got the ATI super damper. I have the, the uh, extra alternator pulley on order because I want to try something down the road. And um, we'll see if I get to do it. I, I mean, truthfully, I'd like to add um, a secondary pump and run it off the accessory drive. Okay, and the real beauties are right here. Got our waggler rods. These things are beautiful. So that's everything uh, that I went over. That basically the crank, the crank stock, uh, nothing special with that. But the rest of it is pretty exciting. Uh, this box here is just the old stock rods here, so that's no big deal. I just had it there, but. This is going to be super exciting to build. I can't wait to get this thing running and actually start doing some of the testing. Uh, my real goal with this isn't, isn't to be super high horsepower. To me, if I could make basically a round or maybe a little bit more power than a uh, uh, 2022 6.7 power stroke, I think that'd be awesome. Um, you know, if I could make 600, 500, 600 horse and 1200 foot pounds of torque. I think this would be awesome. Um, I just think, because really the truck's still going to be used for tow, driving, and everything, and I want it to be very reliable. Um, we all know the 6.0s don't have the greatest track record for being reliable, but uh, we also know that whenever 
we add a ton of horsepower and do all kinds of other stuff and really get away from a stock uh, setup, then it becomes a real big pain. Uh, you're always chasing little things, you get weird drivability, but I want this thing to have great drivability, pretty decent fuel economy. Fuel's, you know, getting it more expensive, so I don't want to be, you know, throwing money at it. And uh, I just want to have fun. So, and I want you guys to come along with me and experience this and Maybe you guys can uh, learn something and it'll help you save money or it'll teach you something where when you go and build or do something with yours, you made the right, right decision and you're happy with the, the uh, upgrade you did. So anyway, I'll end this video here and uh, again, leave comments. Let me know what cam I should go with. Uh, I definitely don't want to do stock. I don't really want to do stage one, but maybe I should. Maybe you guys have a good reason why I should go with stage one. Let me know. See you later.